What is up YouTube, Dead by Dustin here, and today we will finally be starting the Feed the Beast Infinity 1.7.10 solo series, and I forgot the command so I already started, but we will be playing on hard mode for the first time, so that changes a lot of the, uh, a lot of the recipes, makes everything a little bit harder. Game mode set to expert, so this is going to be fun, I've never played Infinity Evolved on expert mode. I'm currently running a multiplayer server on regular mode, so if you guys want to check that out. Link to our Discord will be down in the description. Pop in and drop me a message. Dead by Dustin is my Discord name. And we can figure out getting you guys on the server if you would like. But anyways, we will be playing a solo version on expert mode. I've, Like I said, I've never tried it, so I'm really excited to try and do it. So we're just going to go ahead and chop this tree down. Now we are playing on version 2.6.0 because that's what my server is running. We're not on the most recent version of Infinity Evolved, which is 2.7. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and run over here, kind of this hillside, and get started. I just want to get the basics down for this episode. As for right now, I think the episodes are going to be about 15 minutes each. If you guys want that extended, just go ahead and let me know, and I can see about getting that happening. Hopefully, pickaxe is all the same. I'm going to have to relearn all the recipes. Two planks only give two sticks now, so that's, that's something different. But I'm going to have to be checking recipes for everything, because... Almost every recipe in this has changed, so I don't really know what I'm doing. There's going to be a big learning curve for all this, but uh, I think it'll be fun. It'll be nice, and I hope you guys can uh, be along for the ride to help me out. But we're just going to go ahead and get started, try and get all the basics, try and set up some sort of little base, even if it's just a hole in the mountain right here, which I think I'm going to punch a hole in the mountain right now, just so we can have a little base of operations, start mining. Uh, one thing I want to work towards is ore doubling. Now I don't know how hard that's going to be because of all the recipes. But uh, thankfully we have not enough items installed which will really help us out through all this because I, I have no clue what I'm doing. But anyways, we're just going to carve out a little hole in here. A little 3x3. Three three. Hopefully that'll be enough space for the time being. But as always, we can extend it. After we get kind of settled, I'm going to try and build a house, but that's not really a priority right now. Priority is kind of just get the basics, get, you know, get safe as one. I'm going to throw a door down. Let me go grab this crafting table and move it inside. Get set up. There's a cave over there, which hopefully will have some coal in it so we can get some torches. Uh, in the area, it looks like we have some sheep and some pigs, so we can go kill a sheep and hopefully make a bed as long as the <laughs> recipe for a bed hasn't changed. Yeah, three wool, three wood. Awesome. So let's go ahead and we're going to make a sword so we can go, hopefully sword recipe is all the same. It is not. So stone sword, let's see what we need for a stone sword. Can I not make a stone sword? What about a, what about a wood sword? Wooden sword? You have to make it in a scrap box. Iron sword is still the same, but we cannot make a stone or a wood sword. Gold sword's the same. Uh, and a diamond sword's the same. So it looks like we're going to need some iron. So let's go ahead and we're going to go mining a little bit, see if we can get some iron. I want to get some food on the table and also uh, a bed so we can sleep away the nights. That would be really nice to get done, but without a stone sword, I don't want to go have to go punch him to death. So we're going to find some iron. If we can find one good vein of iron, enough for a pickaxe and a sword, that would be optimal. But who knows? So we're just going to keep on mining. Found some coal, that'll be nice. Get some torches going. I'm like second guessing every single recipe and what I'm supposed to be doing because I've never played on expert mode. But uh, let's look at the, uh, what is it called? It is called a, is it a grinder? Yeah, nope, that's a quartz grindstone. It is called a, maybe a grindstone? Oh, it is the quartz grindstone. Certus quartz, an iron gear, which I don't know how to make. It's not letting me click on it. That might have to be done in, uh, oh, what is this? So colored stone, some certus quartz, some cobblestone, but I don't know how to make the iron gear. Let's see if there's a, any metal press or a casting table. So we're going to have to get a tinker's construct forge up before we can get that going. So that might be a, uh, something to go for first is the tinker's construct forge. Oh, there goes my stone pick. We're going to have to go get a couple more of those. So what is it for seared brick? Is the seared brick recipe still the same? Seared bricks, grout, yes. Okay, so then maybe working towards a Tinker's Construct Forge should be our first plan of action. But in order to do that, we're going to need 
some ores. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and mine. What about a furnace? Can we make a furnace? Is that still the same? I hope. My um. Oh, it's compressed cobblestone, not regular cobblestone. So we're going to need a lot more cobblestone in order to do that. So we'll just mine this out so we're not hitting our head all the time. And also collecting all that cobblestone. It'll take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Get this coal, it'll be good early game. For light and power at some point. Can't pass it up, but like I said, guys, I'm a real noob when it comes to expert mode. I've never done it, so I might have to do a little bit of research in between episodes to find out what I'm doing. I haven't done any research for this one, so might be a little behind the curve, but oh well. Hopefully we can grow and learn and figure out how to do everything as we go. A little bit of direction would be nice, because I don't really know what I need to work for. Looks like a Tinker's Construct Forge would be a good option. Get the hammer going, get all that stuff. But I don't really know, but we're just going to go ahead and do a, a little bit of mining for today. In between episodes, like I said, hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit of research. But until then, we'll just be, we'll collect cobblestone, try and get a furnace. Oh, there's some iron. Nice. That'll be super useful. Too bad we can't double it in any way at the moment. But that's okay. We'll go ahead and mine it all up. At least we can get a sword, get a bed. Get some stuff going. So we need, uh, what was it, eight compressed cobblestone, which are nine each. So it should be, uh, what, eight times eight is 64, 72 cobblestone is what we need. Math is hard. Ooh, there's some quartz too. We definitely need that for the grindstone. But again, without that iron gear, we, we can't do anything with it. Also, I don't know how hard it's going to be to get power in this. I've never never played have a lot of research to do before the next episode but that is not a problem a lot to learn a lot to do it'll be a lot of fun though i'm really looking forward to playing on hard mode because it's it's fun to play the mod pack on regular mode but i think uh expert mode will be a little bit of a uh, breath of fresh air and it'll make everything i'm doing on this server we're playing on seem so much easier which is nice but oh well oh more iron that's perfect i think i'm gonna grab this and then head on up and make a sword and try and get a bed before it turns nighttime. But I see a lot of mobs on the mini map. I think they're underground though. Go ahead and go on up. Luckily, we spawn with 16 apples, so we have a little bit of food, but not a whole lot. Do I have enough cobble? Looks like I do. Go ahead and make a furnace up real quick. It's gonna be just enough cobble to make one of these furnaces. There we go. Pop that down and let's smelt eight iron since we have don't want to waste the coal, we'll smell eight iron. Just like that. While that's going, I'm gonna come out here and get a little bit of wood from this tree right here. Looks like it's starting to turn night, but hopefully we can get a bed before then set our spawn, even though we're living right next to spawn currently. I don't know if we'll end up moving very far. I'm going to have to scout out the uh, area in between episodes to see how that goes. But for now, ooh, half the tree decayed. That was weird. Never seen it do that in between. Oh, sheep right there. Maybe we can make some shears? I don't know how hard shears are to make. Oh, same thing. Yep, go ahead and let's go shear some sheep. As night is quickly approaching, that was two wool. There's one more sheep up here. Hopefully we can get up here without dying. Then we can slap down a bed and keep on going. So far, so good. Haven't died. I'm awaiting the first death. See how long it takes for that to happen. Let's go ahead and pop that down. Make a bed real quick. And then let's mine out a little bit of space for it with the stone pick here. Expand the cave as needed. I don't want to be living in a cave the whole time, if at all possible, but I end up often getting sidetracked and, and living in a cave for way too long, especially on the server. We're just now uh, moving out of our little cave, which is a bit unfortunate, but you know, we're making it. I like to build big, and that's also another thing I'll be doing on this, is doing a lot of building, a lot of test building as well, because I, I just really enjoy building big things i'm not very good at it but you know gotta work on it so do i need these books i don't think i've ever read any of these books wow 
this is really uh, in depth. I wish there was like an expert mode guidebook. Maybe there is that I don't know about, but that would be super nice. So we went ahead and slept. Let's make an iron sword and go get us some food. And then let's also make a stone shovel so we can start working towards uh, getting our Tinker's Construct Forge up. And stone to make a shovel. Perfect. Now for the forge, we need seared brick. And I don't know if the tanks are any different. Nope, one thing of glass, seared brick. It looks like the smeltery is all the same. So that's not that big of an issue. We just need a lot of grout. And grout is clay, sand, and gravel. So I think we're going to go get some food with our sword real quick. Kill some of these pigs that are in the area. And then search the nearby water for sand, gravel, and clay. And get our Tinker's Construct Forge going. The earlier we get that going, the easier iron swords are two hits. That is That is not helpful. Well, I guess we're punching these to death. I did not even know about that. Well, now thinking about it, I saw it in a video, and I knew that the Iron Sword didn't really do a whole lot, but hey, now we know. Does it actually say that on uh, not enough items that the durability is different? One out of one used for crafting only. Oh, so swords are only crafting. So we're going to need a Tinker's Construct Sword. Gotcha. All right, so no way to do it, defend ourselves up until then, but... Uh, Oh well, let's go punch some pigs to death. We're learning, we're learning. Only wasted two iron, which I guess isn't that bad. How much food do we have? Four pork chops plus our apples. We should be good for now. Let's drop in this water here and see what we can see. Looks like it goes underwater. Guess I'll collect some of this sand up. Let's get out of the water if we can, not be slowed down. But all the help you guys could provide in the comments with like direction or what I should be doing would really be helpful. I'll try and read the comments before each episode if I have time. But there might be a one to two episode delay between me recording and me posting. So we'll have to see how that's going. But anywho, I'm really excited to do all this. It should be fun. There's a little bit of sand, a little bit of gravel here. Is that some clay down there? Nope, just all sand and gravel. But we should be able to get a good amount of both here. And that'll be lots of fun. These episodes are going to be kind of short. They feel short. I mean, we're coming up on 13 minutes already. And I haven't got a whole lot done. But hopefully next episode we'll have some more direction. I plan on doing some stuff off camera as well in between episodes. And I can update you guys on that. So when Shovel broke already, we're going to have to go get a couple more of those. But I think the forge will be a good place to start. Let's run back to our little hut here. I should put a door down if I can make one. Just to keep most of the mobs out. Throw one of these down. Nice. Put it down right there. And let's make all these into sticks, I guess. First we'll make an axe so we can get more wood. Then we'll make two shovels, I suppose. So we can keep going. We also need a chest. That is one thing I haven't invested in is a chest. Let's climb up this mountain and chop a few trees down, but mostly trying to focus on the ground. Here's some clay. That's super nice. Let's try and get out of the water so we can actually hit it with re relative speed. The clay is the easy part. It's the sand and gravel. Because clay breaks down into like four or five clay. Whereas grout has to be. Whereas the sand and gravel you only get one per block. But that'll at least. Clay is a lot harder to find than everything else. So that'll be a decent little something. There we go. How much clay was that? Looking at... 100 clay, so that's, if we can get 100 sand or, and gravel to match, that should be more than enough to make a Tinker's Forge, I hope. I say that, but I don't know the exact amount of bricks. Oh, rubber tree right here, we should really try and get a sapling out of that, I know at some point we're going to need rubber. Just, there goes our shovel. Definitely going to have to get some more wood, do some mining, and try and get some of this really early game stuff knocked out before the next episode so that we can have a little bit more progress in the next one this 
really going to be a quick episode, but oh well. So we're going to chop down this rubber tree real quick. Hopefully get a sapling from it. If not, there should be more around. Sapling in there? There's one. Perfect. Let's pick that bad boy up and we'll go throw it down a little closer to the base. Eat a few of these apples. And with that, guys, it is the 15 minute mark. We're going to be ending our episode here. Kind of a slow episode, an introductory one. Not a lot going on in this episode. But that's okay. Can't make rubber planks. Oh, well. Next episode, hopefully we'll see a lot more progress and we'll be able to have a little bit more direction. Going to do some research in between episodes so I actually know what I'm doing. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys hopefully tomorrow in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.